The refugees told Human Rights Watch about their harrowing journey to India. They made it in a small fishing boat, like these filmed by Al Jazeera recently near the combat zone. The boat's owner said his father, sister, nephew, two brothers and his uncle died on the boat. They got lost. They ran out of fuel and drifted until their food and water was gone. They started drinking seawater. One by one, they started dying. But first, it was the children. That account may be horrific enough, but their description of what they left behind inside the combat zone is even worse. A motorbike taxi driver said his family were living in such fear inside the government-declared safe zone. The shelling was constant, he said. A shell landed in a bunker his neighbors were using. Five of them were killed. Ten were injured. The doctors had to cut off a young girl's hand without anesthetic. His brother described long periods of shelling. He said that the Tamil Tigers sometimes fired from areas close to where the civilians were living, putting them at risk of retaliatory fire. There was so much bombing and shelling, he said. A senior researcher from Human Rights Watch said, these accounts must be multiplied tens of thousands of times to capture the full horror of those who remain trapped by the Tamil Tigers and shelled by government forces. Human Rights Watch say the accounts show the wanton disregard for the civilians by both the Sri Lankan government and the Tamil Tigers. They've called on both the United Nations Security Council and the Human Rights Council to make the situation in Sri Lanka a priority to avoid further loss of civilian life. David Chater Al Jazeera, Colombo.